State versus William Hall, residential burglary and theft. It looks like there's been a petition filed to re revoke your probationary period. Do you have a lawyer, Mr. Hall? Yes. Who, who is that? Mark Cooper. Mark Cooper? Okay. Yeah, I'm out of the case. I'm sorry, say that again. I've got another case I'm going through in court right now, too. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get him another application, but based on that statement, um, we'll go ahead and enter a plea of not true. It sounded like this was one that needs to be on the other division's docket anyway. Sir, I'll enter a plea of not true to these allegations against you. Have you reappeared before Judge Webb on September 24th at 9 o'clock, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, I have Mr. Johnson here. I'm Johnson. Uh, your Honor, could I ask a question? Yes. Uh, is there any chance I could get a bond reduction of any kind? Let me look at this. Okay, this is Mr. Johnson's case again. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, your lawyer asked that you come back on October 29th for a pretrial, so that's what has been done uh, so far today. Larry, can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. That form that I gave you last night has different dates. We're going to bring you back at the end of October uh, before your pretrial. I'm sorry, before your plea deadline. That's what we talked about earlier, okay? He was asking about it, Mr. Johnson, a bond reduction. Why don't you talk to your lawyer about that, and if they be, we'll get you back before the court, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, Larry. State versus Tabitha Moore, possession of controlled substances. <laughs> State versus uh, Caitlin Mar like Marlin. We got someone else up here. Uh, to get uh, this no other can to get them in, in order. Uh, that's fine. What's your name, ma'am? Hannah Miller. Okay. I've got a <coughs> affidavit on you. Let me see. Looks like you qualify for the public defender's office, so I'll appoint the public defender to represent you. Okay. You know, I visited with Ms. Miller this morning. We waived reading of the information in her plea of not guilty. Okay. We're talking about case number 2015-285. We're in Ms. Miller's charge of possession of methamphetamine and possession of drug paraphernalia. So we'll enter the plea of not guilty. And her next appearance will be on October 29th, 10 o'clock. For a free trial. State versus Melanie Thomas. Are you Miss Thomas? Yes, sir. Okay, you're, it looks like this, you're charged with possession of methamphetamine, paraphernalia, furnishing prohibited articles. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, may I speak? Mr. Manning here. Has she been around? Judge, it looks like possibly not on the new charge. There was, a, there was an older charge pending on the Division 4 docket. Okay. Okay, she, she needs to be arraigned on this charge. Judge, we've been appointed. I'm sorry. Sherry, do I need to present that to the judge? Can I give you this? Yes. 
charge. You're not employed, ma'am, is that correct? I'm Are sorry? You employed? No, sir. Okay. Um, may I, may I tell you the, what's going on? May I speak? <laughs> yes. Um, when I was arrested on the first charges, um, I got bonded out the next day, and I have a piece of paper. My bondsman actually has the paper that I got from the jail stating that my court date was not till September 927, which does fall on a Sunday, but my bondsman has that paper, and I got these new charges, the failure to appear, but and I came to court on 827 with my bondsman. My name wasn't on the docket, so he told me to go. And then I got arrested again, and so I don't, I have papers saying that my court date is not until the 27th. Okay. Were you going to appear on Sunday? No, sir. I, I didn't realize it was Sunday. But I, I have it from the state trooper. Well, I'm sorry. I thought you told me it was Sunday. That's what the paperwork says. My bondsman has that paper. Judge, do you have one case file today or two? Yes, sir, I would also like to say something. If this charge in 15-262 is the only thing holding her, if the bondsman will file something that he's willing to stay on the bond, she may be released on the previous bond posted. And I'll direct the chief to come back before Judge Webb on September 24th at it's 9 o'clock. What did you want to say, ma'am? Um, my bondsman should also be here. I believe he should be in the courtroom. Okay. What did you want to do? Ma'am, who's your bondsman? I'll talk to him for you. Derek, it's from Campbell Bonding. Okay. We'll talk to him, okay? Thank you. No problem. Thank you.